Well, we're here at the CCA workbench, and it's time for the Fish Bites Trading Post Rigs and Techniques. You know, Dave, yes, we are really got it going on. We got here a lot of stuff here, so let's go quickly. All right. Um, you know, a good thing to have on your boat all the time and ready is a good spinning rod combo. Uh, most often that we see are under two years old and probably under 15 or 20 pounds. You know, a two-year-old dolphin can weigh 30 pounds, though. So, but if you're if you if you're out there trolling offshore, it's always a good idea to have a, a spinning rod set up. You know, with a, a good casting bait on there, M maybe like one of those Savage gears. But this is a pin slammer four, 5500. It's got a full metal body. Uh, it's all sealed. The drag is sealed. Uh, it's waterproof. Uh, it's got the Duro drag in it. HT100 carbon fiber. It's got the pin Carnage three rod, which uh, is very thin but very durable rod. And it, and that's a great rod and reel combo to put like 30 pound braid on. You should catch every dolphin that you see, yeah. unless it's a monster. And uh, you throw them one of those little savage lures yeah. there. Because um, you're are the it, small twitch reaper. It's got a great erratic action. It's a good jerk bait. If you get a bunch of schoolies up behind the boat and you throw that in there, they're going to pile on each other trying to get it. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. Now, Dave, what about if you're just trolling around, what would you suggest? Well, I like island lures. Like, you know, you see a lot of lures up here, the sail lure, the tracker, you know, smaller stuff uh, with a ballyhoo behind it is what I usually do. This is the rig that I actually use because I live in a place where there's a lot of kingfish and barracudas. So I use wire and uh, that little blue and white sail lure is just a awesome, I love this it's, it's just an awesome lure and it works good without a ballyhoo in it believe it or not right um, but that's one of my go-to's right there a naked ballyhoo also on a pin rig is a great a great bait um, and you use that with an O'Shaughnessy style of hook like right this? that's Eagle Claw 254 either a from a seven aught all the way up to a nine or a ten aught even right. uh, depends on you know the the fish that you're targeting. If you're in a place where you got a lot of big dolphins, you just go up size in the hook. But that seven aught hook, I've caught thirty plus pound dolphins on them and, and didn't pull them, so right. uh, they work just as good. And and, and if you're using a smaller ballyhoo or whatever, what what you want to do is you want to size your hook to the size of the bait because you don't want too much bait getting in the gap of that hook. You right. know, it has to. If he has to go through a big ball of bait to get to the hook point, you, you can you'll hook. miss you'll miss a few. You know, you right. want you want to have the hook sitting out there far enough that you can get a bunch in them. And and if you don't want to use bait, uh, like I said, a lot of these lures on here will work fine without a bait in them. Jaw lures makes a really cool combo bait. That's their mahi slayer. It's got a hook in each one of those. You can catch double headers of do little dolphin on that all the time, and we do. They have another one called the Mahi Hunter, which has got, uh, it's mylar. It's complete, it's got a big mylar head, clear head with a mylar skirt on it. Uh -huh. And I'd have one here, but every time I bring it on somebody's boat, I can't get it off of it because they don't want me to take it with them. I catch so many fish on what, it. What kind of guys are that? Uh, You're they're, fishing they're with They're greedy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, is one of, this is one of my bet favorite lures from Island Lures, the Sea Star. Not only will that catch dolphin, but it'll catch wahoos too. You can run that in the flat. Um, you don't have to run it on an outrigger. People, they'll come up and eat that. You hear guys so. talking about feathers. Yes, the, one of the biggest dolphins I ever caught was on a big feather. Uh, a feather and, and or even uh, a sea witch. A sea witch. Yeah, you know, you can put a sea witch on with a bigger head than that or even that same head, uh, run them deep. A lot of times you'll catch a bigger dolphin down deep. If you put a, a downrigger out, you'll catch, sometimes I'll catch the biggest dolphin of the day will hit a downrigger or even a planer. You know, they, right. for some reason, if you see a bunch of schoolie dolphins on the surface, you drop a bigger bait down deep below all those schoolie ones. If you can get it down past those schoolies, a lot of time there'll be a great big dolphin sitting underneath them way down deep. Uh, they just like, they like to hang around that schoolie dolphins, but you usually won't see them. They'll be on the outskirts of that big school or they'll be down deep below them. And what size leader do you think is the optimum size? Uh, 50 pounds should be good for a dolphin. And, and here's another thing. This is not a, it's not a fish that you want to use a circle hook with. No, no. Uh, you put a circle hook on there and, and he eats it and runs away and he, hit, he hits that top speed. It's just like you jerking a circle right. hook. Right. It'll come flying out, especially if you have a big bait in it. Yeah. It'll get clogged up in the, in, the, in the circle hook and he'll just speed right through it and, yeah. and, and toss it. So yeah, this is not a fish that you want to 
target using a circle hook. You want to use a, uh, an O'Shaughnessy is my favorite hook for them. Well, cool, man. You and did really good over here. I can't believe that they named a lure after Bree. Did they? What was that? Uh, I'm not going to say. One of these you mentioned tonight. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, I like them all. And this, I caught my biggest often on this one right here. That island lure? Yeah, with a giant, you know, everything eats that, that island lure, but the blue and white. But that one had a giant horse ballyhoo in it, and I caught a 60-pound dolphin out of the cape right. on that. I bet Bree thinks I was referring to the sea witch. <laughs> but I really wasn't. I was referring to the sea star, Bree. Okay. Oh, okay. That was a good save right <laughs> you saved there. Yourself. Right? <laughs> I saved right. myself. All right, we're not fighting tonight.